Hello and welcome to Charlie's Desk. Um, today, I'm just going to take apart a little 2.5x monocular just to talk about what's inside it. Um, so that is what's on the desk. I also have a little metal tool for sort of poking and prodding to help undo things. Um, and I'll just, as I take it apart, describe um, what it is and what it does. So the first thing, it's just, it's, I'm gonna just unscrew things. So the eye piece, you know, where you put your eye, yeah, it's like a little rubber sort of cap to, to fit snugly. Um, over your eye, and you can just unscrew it, and then it comes off, and there's nothing in there, just a circle with some threading, um, and now we get to the eyepiece lens, um, and so the inside of the cylinder is threaded, um, and you put the lens in there, and then you thread in this little ring that holds the lens in there. So I'm gonna use my my poker and, and prodding thing to start to unscrew the little ring that holds the eyepiece lens in. Um, so now, you know, the way a monocular works is light comes in parallel rays in through the objective lens which bends it to a focal point just in front of the eyepiece lens. And then the eyepiece lens straightens everything out uh, before it gets into your eye. So what you see is a magnified distance image. And so I've almost got this little ring out. So this ring is threaded and it holds the lens in place. So I'll just hold it up to the camera. A little threaded ring. It's a little too close to focus, huh? A little threaded ring. So I took that out, and now the objective lens should fall out. So this is an interesting lens. This is, um, it is concave, right? It means it, it dips inward on both sides. So this, you know, a convex uh, lens will magnify things, right? And a concave lens will uh, make things look further away. Okay, so this is what kind of straightens the light before it heads into your eye. Now let's go to the other side. The objective lens, the big lens, it's just about you know capturing as much light as possible because that's what you need to see distant things. So here is just, um, yeah. I'll stick with the objective lens piece. So it's just a smaller portion of the, the cylinder. And again, it has one of these little rings that will hold in the lens. So I'll just use the poking thing. There's a little indentation that you can get in there so you can start to unscrew um, the ring and then get out your lens if it, perhaps it broke, right? So there's the ring. And then um, here is the objective lens. The, and you can see that it is um, convex. So it's magnifying stuff. Okay, so we have um, two lenses. Each has a ring to hold it in place. We have the eyepiece. And then the last two pieces, so with the monocular, um, you know, you can change the size of the cylinder. The cylinder is in two pieces that screw together. And when you, uh, you know, rotate the, the lens of the, rotate the body of the monocular to focus it, that changes the distance between the two lenses um, and, and that changes the focus. Okay, so how many parts do we have in total? Um, two pieces of cylinder making up the body. Um, the objective lens has a little uh, part, part of the cylinder that screws onto it, the lens itself, and a little ring to keep it in place. And then we have the eyepiece and the eyepiece lens and the ring to keep it in place. So it's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
parts. That's what makes a monocular. Um, and yeah, so that is, that is that. And I'll just, you know, so people can see, I'll put it back together again. Um, so you take, I'm going to start with the cylinder, the main cylinder. Oh, doing it the wrong way. Bye. All right. Now we have the tube back. Those two pieces. Um, I'll put on, I'll put the objective ones in. So now I have to, to so this is if you're, if a lens in your monocular is getting like rattly, it might be because the little ring holding it in place is loose. So I just pushed it down in there. I have the convex side facing out, which is what I want. Um, and cleaning it with a microfiber cloth. And then I take the, um, the ring with threading on it and I try to get that um, back in to hold the, the objective lens in place, but I'm gonna have to put it on the table because I'm having trouble doing it with my hands. So how's everybody else doing? Oh, there we go. Okay, now the objective lens is back in place and I will just screw that back on to the tube, the body of the telescope. And now I'll have to put the objective, I'm sorry, the eyepiece lens back in place so that'll fit into the cylinder. Actually, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and clean with this cloth first. Okay, so now the eyepiece lens goes back in. I'll just use this little pooper thing to Make sure it's in place. Okie doke. And then there's the little threaded ring that will hold the lens down and stop it from rattling or anything like that. Um, and I'll just use, oh, which way? I tried to do this yesterday and I was very flummoxed by it, so. Um, but once, once you kind of learn how to do something, then what seemed like a barrier before is just something you didn't know about. And then the last thing is just the, the eyepiece part that you hold up to your eye. It has a little ring for a, mono, uh, for a lanyard on it. So yeah, enjoy. That was taking apart and putting back together a little monocular. Bye.